chocolate espresso martini with a crushed candy cane rim and some frosted cranberries. <laughs> I'm Julia Carley, and this is Mix It. It's the most wonderful time of the day. You know what time that is? It's cocktail time. Now, as per usual, I have no idea what to name this cocktail. I just make them. I don't name them. That's what you're for. Leave me in the comments your ideas how to name this cocktail and a shout out to Meeks for last episode naming that cocktail the Cozy Sweater. Shall we get to mixing? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brew my espresso because that way when I actually use it in the cocktail, it won't be scalding hot and melt all the ice. Do you think I could have planned this any better? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna get that rolling first. You could use coffee. You could use iced coffee. You could skip it all together. If you're not a coffee fan, it's still gonna be delicious. Nice and chocolatey and pepperminty. Okay, espresso is made. We're gonna get our garnishes all ready to go because once we start making this cocktail, there's no stopping making this cocktail. A little bit of sugar. That's gonna be for our frosted cranberries. We have our demolished candy canes. Aside from actually drinking the drink, this is the best part. Take out all your aggression. It's been a rough year, guys. Ah! Got a row candy cane. Just crush them nice and thin. All right, to make all of this stick, we're gonna use a little bit of amaretto. And I'm just gonna drizzle it on this plate. Let's do our cranberries first so they can start to dry a little bit. Let's take your little stabby. Technical term, I know. Take a few of your cranberries and stab them on through. Do three. It's always good past, present, and future. Get that nice and coated, and we're just gonna dip them in your sugar so they look like they're out and frosted. It's gonna look so pretty in your drink. Okay, and then for our candy cane rim. Uh, we're gonna dip our glass, just the rim of the glass. I like to do it like this, so it really only adheres to the outside. All the way around, and then do the same. It sticks nice. And since we're gonna do a little bit of amaretto in our drink as well, that nutty flavor will sort of tie everything together. Looks pretty, right? How festive is that? We are prepped, we're ready to go. It is time to make our cocktail. We start with our trusty shaker. I feel like I should bring it with me wherever I go. I should have a holster for it. All right, so we're gonna start off with some vodka. Two ounces of our vodka. Ready, my jigger. Two ounces of vodka. Check. Next, we're gonna move on to our chocolate liqueurs. Um, now remember, if you can't find these specific chocolate liqueurs out in the wilderness out there, you could always use a creme de cacao, you can add a little bit of cream, whatever you like. So I'm gonna start with my favorite, which is a white chocolate liqueur. Oh, I love it so much. I love it because the consistency is nice. It's not overly sweet. It's not overly syrupy. We're gonna do an ounce of the white chocolate. So good. A three quarter ounce pour of the dark chocolate liqueur. Then our secret weapon. It's gonna be the brandy. Now I use brandy because this is an inherently sweet drink. That's gonna give it like a little oomph, a little brevity, a little touch of heat as well. But just a little bit, a little goes a long way. We're just gonna do half an ounce of brandy. All right, here we go. We rimmed the candy canes and we with the amaretto so it all stuck. And I like that nuttiness, but I don't want much. I just sort of wanna tie it all together. So I'm actually gonna take a straw. I'm gonna dip it right in my bottle. And we're just gonna do couple drops. That's it, just a little bit. And then of course, we cannot forget the espresso. I just realized I have worn polka dots in all three mixes so far. Well, it looks like it's now the trend. I will, I will try to wear polka dots every time. All right, <laughs> oh gosh, all right. Put some ice in this baby. Don't splash me, don't splash me, don't splash me. Okay, shake her up. Let's go. Okie dokie. We're gonna strain it into our beautifully garnished glass. Oh, the consistency's gorgeous. 
Oh, I can already smell it. Now I would consider this probably an after dinner drink, but this is like by the fireside kind of drink. Really whatever you want kind of drink. Oh, okay. And then we take our beautiful frosted cranberries. Please don't plop in. And voila, a little chocolate, a little espresso, a little candy cane. I'm going in, I cannot resist it. Oh, that looks good, cheers. Do I have a milk mustache? <laughs> One more. I like that candy cane. That's good. Oh my goodness, it's so good. I think like it's not overly sweet. It's so balanced because we did that little bit of brandy, because that espresso is nice and rich and deep. It just tastes like Christmas morning. All right, well, I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comments. Cheers and happy holidays. For this recipe and all the tools that you may need to be your own at-home bartender, just type in mix it in the search bar on qvc.com. Like, share, and subscribe so you can come to my happy hour and don't miss an episode.